Okay, let's try to plot the, the following points given the x coordinate and the y coordinate. Okay, for number one, let's say this is point A. Okay, let's locate point A wherein the x coordinate is negative 6. So this is x. The first number is always the x, and the second number would be the y coordinate. Okay, since the x coordinate is negative 6, that means uh, in the x axis going to the left from the origin, so this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 6. Once again, from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then uh, since the y coordinate is positive, so that means it is above the x axis. So let's uh, uh, count four units from here. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is point A. Okay, we're in the x coordinate is negative six, and the y coordinate is positive four. How about this one? The x coordinate is four and a half. It's positive, so it's going to the right. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. Since it is one half, it is in between the points five and four, so it is here along here. And then the y coordinate is negative five, so that means the y coordinate must be below the x axis so negative 5 is uh, here okay so uh, from here let's uh, count 1 negative this is negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 and negative 5 okay so therefore this is okay let's uh, name this as point B okay point B wherein the x coordinate is positive which is 4 and 1 half or point point 4.5 and the y coordinate is negative 5 as you can see it is in the fourth quadrant and uh, point A is in the second quadrant this is in the fourth quadrant and for point C Okay, this point C. As you can see, they're both positive. Therefore, it is in the first quadrant along here. So let's uh, see. We have the x coordinate, which is positive one. So positive one is over here, and then the y coordinate is eight. So let's uh, count from here eight units uh, going up. So we have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So here is point C. Okay, we're in the x coordinate is one and the y coordinate is eight. Okay, it is in the first quadrant. And then here in number four, let's say this is point D. Since it, uh, they are both negative, that means your x is on the left and your y is uh, below the x-axis. So we have your negative 4, so where is negative 4 in the x-axis? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, negative 4 is here. And how about negative 5? So we have here negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So negative 5 is here. Okay. So therefore, this is point D, wherein the x coordinate is negative 4 and the y coordinate is negative 5. And then lastly, once again, they are both positive, therefore, it is in the first quadrant. Oh, by the way, point D is in the third quadrant because both the uh, coordinates are negative. And here, obviously, it is the first quadrant because they are both positive. So let's say this is point E. 
7 is the x axis in the x axis the row 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then 2 for the y axis uh, for the y coordinate so we have 1 2 so point e is over here where in the x coordinate is 7 and the y coordinate is 2 okay so uh, how about if you are given the point and then uh, you have to identify uh, the location of this point like for example so we have uh, point M point A point T and point H so let's start with point M first so it is in the second quadrant so that means the X coordinate is on the since the co X coordinate is in the left so it is negative and then the y coordinate is positive so it is above the x, x axis so it is in the sec second quadrant okay so here is the x coordinate which is negative 2 and the y coordinate is positive which is 3 okay positive 3 and for point A, it is on the third quadrant, so therefore the x coordinate and the y coordinate are both negative. So we have here the x is negative 1, and the y is negative 2. Okay, so here. This is the x, and this the y. Okay, so uh, for point T, it is in the fourth quadrant, so therefore, you can see that it is on the right side of the uh, x-axis, So and then it is below here for the y-axis, for, for the y-coordinate, so we have here a positive x-coordinate and a negative y-coordinate. Okay, so the x we always start with x so it is positive 2 let's put 2 here and the y coordinate is this one so we have negative 4 and then lastly for point h it is in the first quadrant that means both the x coordinate and the y coordinate are positive okay Let's see, this is the x coordinate, which is 3, and the y coordinate is positive 2. Okay, so let's see, uh, let's apply this in the problem solving. Okay, here it says here, plot the points on a Cartesian plane and determine the quadrant. Okay, and then you have to connect each pair of consecutive points and find the perimeter of the resulting quadrilateral. It has four points here, uh, point L, point O, point B, and point E. So there are uh, four vertices. That means we're going to form a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral has four, point four, four vertices. Okay, so let's try to locate L, which is which has a coordinate of 3 and 4 that that means it is in the first quadrant so this is l okay which i where in the x coordinate is 3 here and the y coordinate is positive 4 okay and for point o we have a negative x coordinate this is negative 3 now get negative 3 is here for the x coordinate and positive y coordinate and then in point v it is here they are both negative uh, the x coordinate is negative uh, 3 so it's on the left side and then uh, for the y coordinate is it is in negative 4 here and then lastly point e we have a positive uh, x coordinate so it is uh, on the right this is positive 3 for the x and for the y coordinate it is negative 4 
Okay, as you can see, it says here you have to find for the perimeter of the quadrilateral. If we're going to connect them, we're going to have a quadrilateral LOV or quadrilateral love. Okay? So, uh, what is the formula for perimeter? We have, uh, in our, this is a rectangle, obviously. Uh, in getting the perimeter of a rectangle, the formula is twice the length plus twice the width. Okay, recalling the uh, definition of the perimeter, that means it is the surround measurement. Okay, as you can see, th uh, this one is congruent to this one. That's why twice of this plus twice of uh, the other two sides, the opposite sides. So let's try to get the measurement of the length. Okay, so we have from here, you can count how many units. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Therefore, your L here is eight units. Okay, so um, for the uh, W, we have this one. How many units here from point to point? Just uh, have to count one, two, three, four, five, six. So the distance from point O to point L, which represents the width, is six units. Okay, so just substitute it here on the formula. Okay, the perimeter therefore is equal to twice the length, which is 8, plus twice the width, which is 6. So this is equal to 16 plus 12. The perimeter therefore is equal to 28 units. Okay? So that is how you're going to apply uh, the Cartesian plane in uh, solving for uh, the perimeter of a quadrilateral that is formed. Okay, so that's it.